to have a policy on sub brokers. So we decided not to have sub brokers at all. There was a time sub brokers were handling customer assets. That is the time we came out with a new concept called a franchise, which is now very popular. In the franchisee concept, we give securities and payments to clients directly and we receive securities and payments from the clients directly to us. So this was an innovation and this is the decision we took so early in the 90s in order to safeguard the interest of the customers. And the second one, uh, as a lot of you are aware, is the introduction of internet trading in 2000. We were the first stock working company that started internet trading on 1st of February 2000 by then SEBI chairman D.R. Mehta. Today 60% of Geoagent's trading turnover is coming through internet. We were the first stockbroking company that introduced banking interface for internet trading. We were also the first stockbroking company to start mobile trading. That was in 2010. Correct. And currently we have 30% of our total trading business coming through mobile applications. We were also pioneers in introducing NRIs to Indian capital market. That is also again one of the points that you are aware. In the year 2000, Geojit started Burjil Geojit Securities. This company has today five branches, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Sharjah, Ras al and LA. And they are serving more than 50,000 retail NRI customers uh, in Indian market. Apart from that, subsequently we started joint ventures in Saudi Arabia, in UAE, in Oman, in Kuwait and in Bahrain. So this is a pioneering attempt made by an Indian broking, any Indian broking company for bringing large number of NRIs into Indian market. We also have tie up with the six banks for B2B uh, trading. For example, when we say B2B trading, we provide smooth trading interface to clients who want to trade in securities market. For a brand like uh, uh, OBC, Oriental Bank of Commerce, SVC, uh, Andhra Bank, Corporation Bank, Federal Bank, Southern Bank, all these banks have tied up with us. I must also tell you, our recent uh, uh, initiative was on systematic investment plan. In 2010, Geojit started in a small way distributing SIPs. And, to, and 2015, we took a statistics and did an analysis. We found out that, interestingly, not a single investor who had purchased SIPs had lost money. During the same window, we also took statistics of day trading clients who trade in equities and we found that 80% of the traders have been actually losing money. And then we also took a data on derivatives trading from retail clients. Retail clients getting into derivatives trading, we saw that almost 90% of the people, retail traders were losing money. Then we decided, you know, first important decision we took was reduce employee incentive by 50% for derivatives trading as well as day trading. It was a very important internal move. And then we start immediately going ahead with SIP. Today I must tell you we are number two, Sadish. We are number two in the country among non-bank distributors in terms of monthly fresh purchases of SIPs. Going forward, GOG is planning to hire 1 million new investors acquire 1 million new investors in the market in the next 5 years. And at a time when we have completed 30 years, uh, we have this plan to acquire 1 million clients with a complete focus on research, investment advisory, financial planning and uh, retirement planning. Also, we will have the best technology possible to enable all these services to get delivered to our 
clients, it will be 2 million clients, close to 2 million clients in another 5 years. With this introduction, I request uh, our chairman to make a very important announcement today. Esteemed uh, friends from the press fraternity, after several, a gap of several years, I am addressing a press conference. Some of you would have seen me in a few years before. I am happy to have an interface with you. As Mr. George has said, this company, a Kerala-based company, but a Pan-India company, company, has the central theme of promoting investment in a disciplined way for the masses. We have a passion that drives this company right from the beginning. It's extremely focused on retail, extremely focused on providing service efficiently and at the least cost possible. A cost efficient, service efficient. And the pillar of ours is the adoption of technology. He has said we started with internet and we are going strong on that line. We have also are one of the few companies in this area which has done I think 20 or 30,000 investor awareness program or more. Yeah, we started in uh, 2004. Hmm. We may have done uh, close to 7,000 investor awareness. 7,000 investor awareness program across the country. Because we need to communicate to the ordinary saver what is best for him. He shies away from the market. Now, he, he, he is so attached to his sacred asset that he puts it in savings bank or in FDs, losing out what this market, this other side of the river, the capital market, what that market offers, the common saver loses out. He, he, this is an area that we have taken it up and promoting it in a very intense manner across the country. We have more than 500 offices, uh, 500 and odd offices across the country. We have large number of uh, um, uh, business partners, franchisees and so far. Therefore, um, this is the background of the company. As every company has, we also had the great privilege of having as a partner and an investor, one of the world's largest financial conglomerates, Paris-based BNB Paribas. They came to invest in our company in, way back in 2007 and uh, they, have a, they have a large share holding in us. They believed in the potential. They believed in the management style. They believed in the commitment of us. Therefore, they invested. Being a large investor, they also participated at our board level. They held board level positions and committee level positions from 2007 onwards. And the company has largely benefited out of this partnership. But this year, not this year, last year, 2016, BNB Paribas, in order to have their own vision and their own market strategies and business plan, they took over the Sher Khan broking firm. And because of the conflict of interest involved in such a deal, as far as Yojit is concerned, both of us agreed to part company at the, as a partner in the business. They are certainly continued to be an investor, but as a partner in business, as a part of the board, we, we both agreed in a very cordial way to separate. Therefore, what was Geojit BNP Bhariba Financial Services is, is getting born again 
is getting a rebirth to its original position, namely Georgia's financial service. Of course, the original position was Georgia's securities when uh, it went public in 1995. 95. 95. At that time, it was Georgia's securities. Then it had another birth called Georgia's financial services. Then again, another, the te te um, technically people say it is rebranding, repositioning. But I don't think it is repositioning. Rebranding, I agree. Then it became Georgia's BNP Pariva. And now with the exit of BNP Pariva from the board level and management level position, we go back to our original route. Uh, so there is no exit. There is no exit. They, they are exit in the sense exit from the board level. They are as an investor. There are any other, so many investors are there in the UAGs. Institutions are there, mutual funds invest. So this is the reason yet for the born again concept of UAGs. That's why we are uh, going to have a new logo. When the name is changed from Georgia's BNP Paribas to Georgia's Financial Services, you need to have a change in logo. And with an expert's guidance, we have a new logo which we will release today yeah. and uh, yeah, we will, we will unveil, the logo. unveil the logo. It's also technology oriented. It is not the old days where you draw a, a, a string and it is open. It is all standing somewhere and press the button and it happens. There should I press? Yeah, let me be very clear. The right place I press. Yeah. Uh, This is the logo. Somebody asked me, sir, can you briefly tell about this logo in another place? I said, I am no expert to talk about the design, the purpose, and what it means. It's like Picasso telling, Picasso's drawings, only he can explain what it is. It is not like that. It's a very simple Georgia's and then financial services will come. Yeah, that will come. I just want to bring to your notice my way of looking at it because I thought the important letter in this is what? Obviously, G. You agree? The important letter is G where the designer has concentrated and designed in a very aesthetic new way. He may have his explanation why the G is done like this. But to me and to this company, G stands for some other things. If I ask somebody what is G for, first thing comes into your mind what? G for good? G for uh, give? What is it? God. That is the one thing that comes in the beginning of the common. Just like in individual's life, God's blessings are sought and are maintained. So too in the life of a corporate. We have had the privilege of God's blessings over the last 30 years and we look forward to that in years to come. If I ask you what is G and the person concerned in Georgia, what does that G stand for? George, G for? G for? George. So he is the founder, promoter of the company. Every company has one objective and that is to grow and to produce profitable growth. Looking back 